Our time on the tour so far has been pretty laddy. Um, skidooing, zip lining, partying, stuff like that. So we thought it was time to give Jules a chance to have a bit more of a girly day. So we went sledging through the forest of Montana with some doggy dogs. Oh, doggies! Doggies the best day of my life, doggies. Surrounded by dogs. I just want to go roll around with them. Two pairs of ski socks, two thermals long on my legs, two thermals on my body, a hoodie, a ski jacket, two pairs of gloves, heat warmers, hand warmers, a beanie, a mask, and goggles, and I am freezing my ass off. The art of doctor. So good, so good. I think that means rack up. <laughs> So Ollie, one of the guys from Jack Wills and I, were um, running a bit late for the Husky Dogs because we'd been uh, emailing some of our mates back home a sort of festive Christmas music video that we'd made. In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man But you can do the job when you're in town So by the time we'd actually turned up to where we were meant to be meeting, Jules, Charlie and Matt and all the dogs had already left. I decided that we'd probably be able to catch them up if we just hooned it after them on our skis. How fast can 10 or 12 dogs be? I think, I think we'll be fine. I heard sounds coming from this way. Is it a bear or a cougar or anything? Dogs? It was more, it was either a gay bear or dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this was meant to be a shortcut. <laughs> That's a shortcut of mountain you don't even know. Well, I know, but the tr so the track, it was basically the track did a big C. And we just cut through the middle. I'm pretty sure that if we go straight up, it'll be fine. We've got a banana, we'll be fine. Oh, fuck. Yes! <laughs> fuck! It is here. I was actually, I was actually genuinely getting worried. Oh, the path. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. Found them. Now then, the fact that they're going the other way means we didn't technically catch them up. <laughs> hey. Hey. Faster, Nick. Can, can we nice see you guys. Can you have a little <laughs> pause? Have a little hey. maybe? Go. I bet you left us. Still seem for in the same scenario. <laughs> well, no, we're in a much worse scenario now, Ollie, because now we've got to go uphill to get back. <laughs> so now after having a bit of a girly session with the Huskies, we thought it was time to butch up the day a bit more. So we went to a local season air pub called Milky's. Now I don't think we'd quite planned for how butch this place was gonna be. In a word, rednecks. Now one thing we figured out from our experience of the nightlife is that the local seasonaires were clearly here for the skiing. So they took us out and showed us some sick spots. Had a, a holler from Mr. Lifty saying you're dancing on the bar last night. Yeah. Tell me about that. All we had uh, the, the whole mountain got together down at the bar, oh, yeah. down at the base of the mountain. We had an opening party. Yeah. And so we had a band playing and then everyone got very well lubricated. Great drinks. Everyone got lubricated just enough to dance on the bar and have a good time. That's kind of how we do in Montana. After a snowfall, how many days? How many days after can you still find fresh ice? Uh, our last snowfall was what? 
four days ago. And that we'll still see fresh lines that haven't been touched today. So. If we don't get the epic, like, targi dumps where you're getting a three meter storm, yeah. we'll get a, a foot storm, but the way the wind works on this mountain is uh, two or three inches can equal four feet in parts of the mountain. So the wind really carries us around. They call Montana Mantana for one reason, there's no girls there. And do you know where there's loads of girls? Aspen. So that's where we're headed next. Yeah.